everybody, Sean from Media Assault here, and in my continuing quest to introduce you to movies that you may have heard of and not known what it was, or that you haven't heard of at all and need to see, uh, I'm here with a review of yet another one of those types of films, and this time out it is Brotherhood of the Wolf. This is a French film uh, from 2001. It was released in the United States in early 2002. The DVD came out in uh, late 2002 in the United States. Uh, this is a movie that is really hard to qualify into a genre. So I'll kind of piece this together for you. It's a horror film. It's a romance. It's a martial arts film. And it's not from Hollywood. So what I like about it is the fact that it's really hard to classify. It's really hard to pigeonhole this film into, oh, it's a horror movie. Well, it's a horror movie, but it's also got political intrigue in it. Uh, or it's a romance. Well, yeah, it's got romantic stuff, but there's also some commentary on religion. Um, there's some commentary on you know, the way man treats nature in this film. And, on top of all that, there's Kung Fu. How can you top that? Uh, well, you can. You can add a lot of naked women. Hey, there you go. Um, Brotherhood of the Wolf is also available in a three-disc collector set. Um, and this I just picked up uh, maybe about two weeks ago. And uh, you've got, obviously, a, a DVD there. Uh, two more DVDs, and there's a, kind of a cool picture book here um, that kind of explains some of the elements of the movie. Um, I would highly seek out, highly recommend seeking out that version of the DVD. If you get the American version, um, there's this, which is out of print. There's another version that's available in the United States, the director's cut. Um, that one is more readily available, but seek out the, the Canadian version that, that I showed you, the three-disc version. Um, basically, the plot of this film, which is what you're probably wondering, how a movie can combine all these different elements and have a coherent plot. Uh, basically, the plot of this film, it takes place in the late 1700s in France. Uh, 1766, I believe, in a province called Gévaudan. Um, and there's this thing called the Beast, and it's attacking women and children, only women and children. Um, it knows when men are around and disappears. It's not afraid of firearms, but it actively seeks out women who are alone or women who are with children or children who are alone uh, and kills them rather violently. And the King of France sends two guys, um, Fransac, played by Samuel Le Bahan, and his assistant Manny, who is uh, an Iroquois Indian, played by Mark Dacascos, who some of you may know as the Iron Chef from the American version of Iron Chef. Um, those two guys come down to the province and try to check things out. And they notice that the, uh, the local military is blundering the uh, ability, or blundering the investigation, trying to catch this thing. They set traps, they don't catch anything. Um, they can never find or see this thing. They don't understand how this is happening, so they get involved in trying to capture and study or kill this particular creature. The creature was actually designed by Jim Henson's Creature Shop, if you know who Jim Henson is. Um, and uh, it's really an imaginative looking thing. I won't spoil anything else other than that. But where's all these elements, this martial arts and romance and, and uh, political intrigue and action and all that stuff, where does that all come in? It's just sort of liberally sprinkled throughout the whole film. Five minutes into this movie, you've got uh, some kung fu action. And maybe 20 minutes into this movie, you've got you know some political stuff happening. Um, it may sound hard to follow. It's not. It is long. It's about two and a half hours. Uh, it's not rambling by any means. It's an easy to sit through film. Uh, it will definitely keep your attention. Um, I just can't say enough about it. This is a movie that literally will kick your ass. Um, 
just because it comes out of nowhere. And the less you know about it, the better. So I'm really going to not give anything else away or, or say anything other than seek out Brotherhood of the Wolf and watch it. I don't care if you rent it. I don't care if you buy it. Just seek it out and find it and uh, watch it and enjoy it because I think you will. If you've been watching any of the reviews on my channel, you know the types of movies that I like. Uh, so I highly recommend this film and uh, can't say enough good things about it. So seek out Brotherhood of the Wolf, French film, combining martial arts, romance, action, intrigue, and sex. Who can say no to that, right? All right. Thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe for more reviews like this one. And of course, I always do uh, movies, but I also do music reviews and video game reviews as well. Uh, you can always check out my website at www.media-assault.com uh, for many more reviews. Uh, been online since 1997, so there's a lot of stuff there to check out. So thanks for watching. Subscribe.